Ladies and gentlemen, Shakur Stevenson warns George Cambosis Jr. that basically he better stay far away from him and also he is accusing him of robbery, you know, because obviously a, a lot of people believe that Maxie Hughes defeated him. Uh, it, it, it's just going to draw a lot of different opinions from a lot of different people. Obviously, Shakur Stevenson right now is just looking for an opponent. Nobody wants to fight him. People are jumping over hula hoops. If you've been living under a rock, Shakur Stevenson, rocket from New Jersey, you already know Newark. He is 20 and 0, no losses, no draws, 10 wins, no matter where, knockout. The Southpaw, 26 years old. I mean, he, he's patiently waiting to fight with Devin Haney. We're going to get all into that. We all know who Devin Haney is, Mr. Undisputed. We ain't got to get all into it. Make sure you hit the like button and most definitely hit that subscribe button if you want more boxing news updates and more things are heating up in the 135 division. Listen, George Cambosis Jr., he's not shying away. I, I don't really believe he wants to fight with Shakur Stevenson. I mean, how, who will? Um, especially in, in this kind of situation because it's really, you know, it's a high risk, you know, you know, really not much reward, but it is a reward. But listen, these guys are trying to fight for the title. You go up against Shakur Stevenson and he beats you and then he knocks you all the way down to, you know, rock bottom, then what? You know, so, I mean, these are the things that they're thinking about. But George Cambosis, I mean, listen, this would be a mismatch. And I heard him say, basically, it's gonna, it could be the same way as the T.O. fight. I believe that's what the, his corner was saying. That this is a whole nother animal, y'all. You know, Shakur Stevenson is a whole nother beast. But shout out to Tio Fima Lopez. You already know what it is. Shout out Tio 19 and 1. Uh, he is the WBO lightweight, welterweight champion. I, I, pardon me, the WBO light welterweight champion. This guy is a beast. You know, you've seen him electrify against Taylor. Um, surprisingly, you know, he defeated Josh Taylor. Nobody believed that he was going to do that. Um, uh, well, I would say most, most people didn't believe. But he definitely showed everybody that he is who he say he is. And he wants the top guys. And it's going to be interesting to see as you see people thinking about moving up to 140. It could be a big time super fight. Could you imagine Devin Haney versus, you know, um, Teofimo Lopez? That would be a hell of a fight at 140. And I'm pretty sure Teofimo believes he'll have the edge at 140. Um, I'm pretty sure every, both of them want that fight. And they need to make it happen. That would be a huge money pay-per-view. But... Shakur Stevenson would just completely just outclass Cambosis. Um, and you hear Shakur, he's not really interested. But the, but the situation is, if you can't get the fights that you want, like like I said, you not you may not get Devin Haney. Javante Davis might have some other things going on, you know. Um, and who's to say that's the fight that you know he wants? But you may have to go up against a guy like this in George Cambosis. He may be one of the next guys up. And, and that's what you heard Shakur say. You know, basically, I I don't really want him on with the best of the best. Cambosis is not the best of the best. He is not on my level. That's what he was saying. And he said, but if he is the next one up, you just have to do it. He got to do what he got to do. Um, obviously, he would like a fight with Lomachenko. You know, that would be a hell of a fight if they can get that done. There's so many big-time fights that could definitely take place. Um, Cambosis is, is crazy because um, after the last fight against Hughes, it, it's almost looking like the the win against um, Tia Fimo could have been just a one-hit wonder. Did he catch Tio by surprise? Because he, he lost, you know, obviously he got dominated by Devin Haney. Um, I think that is no shame in his game with that. Um, and he, he obviously had a little bit of rust against this huge fight. It was He almost took a year off from getting just de defeated in his home country in Melbourne, uh, Australia. Um, they electrified. Shout out to them, you know. Um, he just couldn't get the job done. Haney is just... It was a little too much for him. It's just, like I said, it's just a different style of boxing. And Shakur Stevenson, 
some believe perfected this style, you know, to hit and not get hit. A lot of people feel like he is possibly the next Floyd Mayweather. Um, when there's so many people vying for that spot, you know, um, Shakur is just going to be a, a dominant threat. Um, even when he gets the belts, which I think he will get, whether it's vacated or he has to defeat Haney. I think he defeats Haney, um, and that's why I think that Haney moves on to fight Regis, in my opinion, because, you know, why in the world would he want to do that and risk everything and lose it all? That would be just re retarded, in my humble opinion. But um, nonetheless, you know, it is what it is. Um, Shakur Stevenson, his defense is just electric. His power now at 135. So he could stop him. And he did say that. He said he could stop Cambos. He didn't just say he could beat him. He said he'll stop him. You know, so that's that's truly something to think about. You know, like, wow. You know, um, the electricity coming, you know, from Shakur. Um, now that he has risen, you know, he, I see a lot more. He's a lot more vocal. And he stated this coming to 135 that he didn't feel his division was as deep as some people believe it is. Um, he doesn't believe that. He just thinks there's a lot of politics going on. And he's not um, afraid of these guys. But it seems like they stand far away from him. They know the threat that he um, presents himself. But uh, shout out to George Cambosis. He's a, he's a tough fighter. Uh, I think that he could definitely regain his swagger. And you've seen that from Tiafima Lopez. When he lost um, to uh, George Cambosis, it seemed like he couldn't find the swagger. He was like, man, do I even have it anymore? Do I? And then you've seen the performance that he had. So um, as you can see, Cambosis going up against Hughes. Yeah, he won, and it may not have looked as, as good as some people may have liked it to be. But, you know, he, he may have to get that ring rust off of him, and um, he'll be ready to truly get back to being George Cambosis, that threat in the ring that he captured the, the belt, you know, uh, when he won all the belts against TFM Lopez. Nobody believed he could do that. So, uh, Shakur Stevenson, on the other hand, I don't care uh, what Cambosis does. He trains, he, he spars with. I just think it's just there's no way he beats him. If I'm Cambosis, I'm staying far away. I'm trying to fight maybe. Uh, if you're going to go out like that, you might as well go for all the marbles. I hear him talking about the Javante Tank Davis fight. Go for that and go for the knockout. You know, because um, I think that's exactly what will happen. I think that Javante Tank Davis will completely obliterate, you know, uh, George Cambosis. But it may be um, a big time payday for him. So he takes it. But it is what it is, man. It's Flight Sports TV. Let me know your thoughts. George Cambosis Jr., you know, that Maxi Hughes fight is a little, you know, questionable. Had people thinking with a side eye. And Shakur Stevenson is letting it be known. He better stay away from him. He is not Tiafema Lopez, and it can end very bad for him. It's Flight Sports TV. Peace and love.